Welcome back to the Photoshop CS5 for Architecture Students. In this video we're going to uh, look at brushes um, very briefly and see how we can use colour for different effects with brushes. Now I'm going to work on my section again. So I'm just going to zoom in a little bit to that area through there. Now what I am going to try and achieve is a kind of a, a fill or a colour through that ground plane just to emphasise the section cut off the ground. Now I can go up and select my uh, brushes through the brush tool. There's a few uh, flyouts through here. We've got the brush and the pencil. But I'm going to use the brush tool because I want to have more like a wash effect on here. Now you can see at the top in the control ribbon we can adjust the size of the brush so it's more appropriate. Okay. I'm just going to have it working normally. I'm going to knock the opacity down just to, to about half. The flow at 50%. So I'm happy with that setting. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and apply a colour through here. Let's select a colour from the swatches. That cool dark brown should be fine. Now I'm going to open up my layers, make sure that I'm working on my section layer that I've put this um, background colour on. And now I'm going to try and colour over that. Okay. That's not quite what I wanted. I'll just bump up the opacity a little bit more. Mm, that's okay, but the problem is is that with the brush I, I quite like the sort of faded effect at the bottom, but the problem is, is that I'm getting sort of smudging and, and spill over spill on top of the section line, whereas what I want is a nice crisp line on that side. So I'm going to go back in time using my history panel. Now what I'm going to do is instead of just trying to do this by hand what I'll do is I'll make a little clipping mask or a, a mask to actually spray against so I can get a nice hard edge along that section and it can bleed out in this area through here. Now we know about the polygon lasso tool but I'm going to use the magnetic lasso tool in this instance because, I'm going to zoom in a little bit, shift to pan, I want to see that whole line, there we go. Because the polygon lasso tool will try and find the difference between pixel colours, so in this case it'll find it very easily because uh, we, we've got just black and white, and it'll make a selection hard up against that. So if I drag my lasso, magnetic lasso against that, it's going to do a reasonable job sticking to that line. Once I've reached the end, I'm just going to click off, double click to finish that. Now, I'm going to finish off my mask using the standard lasso tool just to add to that. So I'm going to hold my shift key down. and close that off there. You notice I've gone outside the window, that's okay because what I'm mainly interested in is this line up through here. Now you can see in adding to that it's actually changed the magnetic lasso so I'm going to use my ALT key to take some of that selection away so that it remains nice and tight to my selection. Okay, zooming out with the control zero. Okay, I'm going to use the rectilinear tool, shift key to add, and I'm just going to give myself a nice square edge. Maybe what I'll do is 
I'll give this top edge a bit of an angle. Okay. So I've got a a mask here now. I'll zoom in in that area a little bit more. So now when I spray against that, it's like putting a bit of masking tape against that edge there. So I'm going to go back to my paintbrush. I might actually give myself quite a large brush so I get a nice effect. And I'm just going to spray along that edge through there. So now when I do my spray edge, I get a nice tight edge to that mask. Now I'm going to redo that just to a little bit tighter to that edge. There we go. A bit more through there. So you can see by using the, the mask I can get a nice crisp edge and use the brush tool to give myself you know more of a graduated effect. And what I could do is try and extend that across through to blend in this drawing with the plan. So remember from last time we can actually save that selection. We go save. I'm going to call it ground ground section mask. Okay that and then control D to turn that off. And then we know that we can actually then call back that masking section if we really want to. So there's plenty more in the drawing that you could play around with the masking tool and in fact some of the other colouring tools we've gone through. So practice a little bit, knock yourself out, but we'll come back to the next video where we'll start to put extra features like people and trees and so on to breathe life and contextualise our drawings. Okay, so we'll see you for the next video.